Well, Poppy King re-entered the beauty market with Lipstick Queen five years ago. Since then, things have gone from strength to strength with a cult following for her products and collaborations with the likes of J. Crew, Kate Spade and Barney's. Poppy is now back home in Australia to launch her latest range and she's come to play. Would you please make her welcome? Yay. Yay. Uh, launching, I um, hope I say this right, Liptropolis. <laughs> yes, you said Yay. Right. Yeah, it's a mouthful. Well, funnily enough, speaking <laughs> of lips, <laughs> so tell us the story behind the range. Uh, basically, it's 10 years this year since I've been living in New York. And I once joked with an editor in New York about um, how lipstick is so indicative of, of which neighbourhood you live in New York. Yeah, and I can tell which way a subway is going by the lip colour they're wearing. You Are know. you serious? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> really great thing to say, so now I had to put it to the test. <laughs> Give us no. an example. So basically what I was meaning is, like, I can tell the subway's going downtown, which is a very, you know, cool, fashionable area. They're wearing red lips, because mm. red lips are back. And then if it's going towards the Upper East Side, which is more of a conservative, posh area, um, that it's more of a nude lip, a subdued nude lip. Oh. So I decided it was time to, uh, here's more mouth puns, put my money where my mouth was, <laughs> yes. and actually um, said, do this, uh, since I've been there for 10 years, do Liptropolis, which I've done the colours that represent um, Central Park and uh, Upper East Side and Soho. Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah. And a Central Park colour. A central, actually, Yumi, the Central Park colour would be fantastic with what really? you're wearing. Really? Is it amongst these? Yeah, yeah. It's in amongst, this trio? So, yeah, so it's in it's these books. Grains. Now, you do something different to other cosmetics creators, which is you just do lips. Exactly. And that's, uh, thank you for uh, putting it so succinctly, because, um, no, that's, a, and that's really all I've ever done. And mm. as far as we know, um, I'm the only person in the industry now, and it's uh, 20 years, so you can even call me a veteran. Yeah. You? Um, um, who's only focused on lips. Which is unbelievable, given that the average woman, I think, eats about four and a half kilograms of lipstick <laughs> yeah. in a life. <laughs> and yours don't have that funny taste that no, lipstick that's, gets? No, that's right. That's the whole reason, you know, way back when that I went into it and no other cosmetics is because I think there's great mascara, great eyeshadows, great foundations, all the rest, but always mm. with lips I found it was an area that I couldn't, was never quite happy with the taste or the mm. look yeah. or even the marketing, you know, there was always something that it just didn't feel to me like what it should be. Mm. You know, when I was a little girl I thought it should be something different and yeah. I put that into action. What do lips say about a woman? I mean, if you were to look at us, is there any way you could... Because uh, you're so used to looking at people's lips, I imagine, the whole time. I am, What do yes. our lips say about our personality? Or well, doing? it's funny because I, I, do, I started doing these things called um, lip readings. Oh. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to set up a circus tent soon. <laughs> <laughs> and a ball and a, a turban. No, um, and I started doing these things called lip readings because I have always, and you see some footage there, I have always... Um, been looking at women's lips mm. and um, I think I noticed because you know I'm in store a lot and everything like that that uh, I could tell sort of by the way a woman was holding her lips like what type of colours she's going to like and like what mood she was in mm. um, and sort of over the years just sort of figured out that yeah you do hold clearly you hold a lot of expression in your lips and so I was doing I've been doing these things called lip readings in store and I've had people in tears in a good way yeah. not not <laughs> not because I've said something horrible like, yeah. you know, you know, don't get on that plane tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So what, what do you see when you do a lip reading? Okay, so do you want me to do one on you? Yeah, should I put your lipstick no, on No, 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 it's nothing to do with the colours or anything like that. So what I'm looking at, and it's not to do with the size or the shape, yeah. it's looking at the corners of your lips, actually. So oh. the corners of Yumi's lips are quite straight, mm -hmm. which generally says to me that you're someone that's very goal-driven. You know, that you, when you put your mind to something, you're not really impulsive. You know, you may come across as fun and all the rest, but underneath that, there's a real iron straight line of being very goal driven, really seeing things through to the end. They also come up pretty quickly at the end, which means that you have a great propensity towards happiness, but there's those two forces of being happy, but don't mess with you. Oh, I like that. <laughs> that so good. Yeah. Yeah. Do you does you that, can just Google her, did you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you remind me of um, Heidi and Sarah Jane from Sass and Bide in that right. they are such great ambassadors for their brand just yeah. by virtue of what they look like and the way that they carry themselves. Oh. And you've always had terrific lips yourself and look managed to really rock a lipstick. <laughs> yes. what, do, what do your lips say about you, Poppy? Oh, 
God, how long have we got? <laughs> <laughs> I've never really, I mean, because of course I, uh, I know myself, although we get into existential conversation here, I do, do, does anyone ever really know themselves? But um, I, I couldn't really tell you, I mean, I, it's more about being, we're always more perceptive about others mm, often. Yeah. And okay. I think for me it's always been, you know, my lips is all, I've always thought of lips as a fascinating area because it really is, you know, how you, what you put out into the world mm. generally comes a lot through not just your actions but what yeah, you say. But we don't talk about them. What about um, Alicia or Liz? Can you see anything in their lips? Except the rabies. <laughs> Except for rabies. Hold yeah, no, I, can't, the foam <laughs> from I can't see because <laughs> of the, the foam. Yeah, just we'll move that foam. <laughs> um, no, okay, so if you hold your mm. lips, okay. So, oh, so your lips. The oh, oh you've got a <laughs> one. Oh. That's like when the hairdresser says, uh oh. Uh oh. We'll just pull it down at the side, no one will notice. <laughs> oh, yeah. <we> okay. <laughs> So your lips, they're actually, you have slightly different directions in your yeah. lips, which means that um, <laughs> that that you do have, you've got more competing forces within you. Right. That whereas like for you, me, like there are two pretty set that you've got, perhaps you've had, you've got a lot of different dreams and goals. Like you could have gone a lot of different ways. Fingers and all pies, Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> and that you're not, and you're not somebody, like you're somebody, yeah, who has a lot of different competing forces. And and that you could have gone a whole lot of different ways. You don't really get to invest in any outcome. Maybe you're quite easygoing on that level, a little mm. bit more impulsive. Mm, I like cool. it. I will say, as a lipstick wearer, I wore bright red lipstick on my wedding day, and I love, I think, I put a I bit of lipstick on. It's great. great. And I felt fabulous as soon yeah. as she put them on. And I think that's the thing with lipstick, you go, oh, keeping your handbag done, day to night. Mm, and yeah. I really think a lot of people should take more risks with wearing bright colours and be a bit sassy about it. And it's also, your lipstick is so personal. Mm -hmm. I used to love Indolence, one of your yes. first colours, and when I couldn't find any more, it was shattering. Was like, Isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I, just, I couldn't go out of the house, I don't have any Indolence. Mm. <laughs> well, like, yeah. <laughs> it becomes very much becomes part of you and part of your whole, you know, like what you see in the mirror every day, which is quite an intimate thing. So yeah. mm. it's true. It's more than it's it's the one cosmetic that is not really about correcting anything, but it's more about bringing out something from the inside. Selling it. Yeah. <laughs> Take a risk with your lips, people. Yes. <laughs> Please. Now we'd love you to put your hands together and your lips for Poppy King. <laughs> Yay! To myself, but our lucky <laughs> studio audience today will all take home their very own Poppy King Lipstick Queen lipstick. Yeah. Yeah.